Good morning, everyone. Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, well, in today's video, we are doing a 45 minute strength and cardio hit. Last week, we did a 60 minute one. If you missed that workout and you want to check it out, go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen. That was a great one. You guys love that format. You said, bring it back, Trace. So that's what we're doing in today's workout. Same idea, but just a little bit shorter for those of you who are short on time. Also, I want to highlight that we are starting another six week accountability strength program. So if you are interested in that, please go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen. Check that out. The people who are in the program have said that they learned so much about nutrition, how to track their food, how to manage their portions and, and learn about why they eat, not just what they eat. As well, we gave them six weeks worth of workouts, all detailed, exactly how you need to do it to get your body fit and healthy. All right, so check that out and join us. Our next one starts on March the 4th. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for today's workout, so make sure you grab those, get water, BCAAs, your towel, and uh, we're getting started with a warm up. Let's start with a quick warm up. If you're already warmed up and ready to go, jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and you can get started right away. Otherwise, arm circles, tap to the side. It's really fancy here this morning. <laughs> All right, switch directions. That's it. Good, there's quite a few shoulder exercises here, so we wanna make sure that ball and socket is warmed and ready to go. Okay, in three, two, one. Let's take it wide here. Get those legs warmed up and stretch up through the chest right there. Good. And of course, a lot of legs because all the cardio are going to utilize those legs, get that hopping and jumping. So let's make sure that we warm calves up a little bit too. One more right here. All right, get into a squat position. We're gonna squat down, reach up overhead press, just like that. And tiptoes, okay? So this is, we're gonna warm up the calves there. So I'm reaching up. Standing up on my tiptoes, as high as I can go. That's it. Yep, it's getting me warm. I will not need this sweatshirt in a few seconds for sure. In three, two, and one. Good, let's take it back to the beginning here. Circles, tap, good. Does this burn your shoulders? Like it burns mine, switch direction. Whew. Yes, I know, it does. It's good though. In three, two, one. Oh, shake that out. Good, take it wide again. Okay, low and open. Stretch to the chest. I do have some push-ups in here as well, so we wanna get that ready to go. Still snowing. Still full winter here in Kelowna. So, that's sad, but we went for a nice walk the other day, minus 11. It was crisp. My mouth was frozen, I couldn't talk very well. Back to that squat, reach up to tiptoes. Um, but it is nice to get fresh air, isn't it? Feels so good just to breathe deeply outside and smell the snow. <laughs> Can't really smell the trees, but it does smell good outside, I'll give it that. Okay, three more here two and one all right are you ready to get started let's do it i'm also actually going to use a medicine ball for one exercise if you don't have it i'll show you the modification with the dumbbell okay all right so grab that if you do let's get started i'm going to start using my medicine ball but here's the action with the dumbbell you're going to squat and then pull up to the right side squat left side okay kind of like a wood chopper Use a ball if you have it. Ready? Here we go. So low, twist and press, and twist and press, right like that. Good. Okay, 45 seconds here. We'll definitely get those shoulders burning. All right. Nice low squat. And around two and three, feel free to elevate your weight. Okay, just test it out on round one. Kind of go, okay, well, that was doable. I can wrap it up for the second and third rounds. That's what I like doing. A little lighter on round one. Woo. 
Heart rate is up. Downward dog crunch hop is next. So get ready to move down to the floor in four seconds here. All right, set that down. So you're down. You're gonna do a crunch in, hop up. I'll call halfway. You can modify without the hop right like this, okay? Here we go. In, hop, good. I want you to hover that lower leg right over the ground when you drive that knee in. Hover, nice and low. You'll feel a quad burn there. Woo! Last one on this side, and switch. Up, good. You're staying down here for some push-ups next. Little variable surface push-up. Drive that knee in. Pop it up, four seconds. Woo, that's a burner. Okay, you can do a push up on a dumbbell. Okay, from the knees or toes. I'll call halfway and switch. Or use that medicine ball if you have it still. Ready? And down. Same side. This little variable surface just adds a little dimension of difficulty. Your lower extremity is gonna work far more. One more this side. All right, switch. I find I have to do this on my knees, but you do it on your toes if you can. Almost there. Good, all right, set that aside. For standing back up, support some cross body jacks. Okay, modify here. Otherwise you're jacking, crossing feet, crossing hands. Ready, let's do it. Woo. We're buzzing already, aren't we? Does not take much, what? Three minutes? <laughs> you. It's fun though. Halfway, come on. Looking good. Great, last 10 seconds. Three, two, time. Okay, good, you're moving into a squat with a bicep curl. I'm gonna start with my eight, okay. I'm gonna plie squat, low, stand and curl. Shoulders back, ready? Let's go, low and curl. I want you to make sure you have palms up, okay? Because in a few exercises for now, we'll do a hammer curl, which is palms facing. Hit a different head of the bicep. Okay, so palms up here. Shoulders are back. Don't let that weight of the dumbbell pull them forward. Ten seconds. My little ticker is ticking quite fast already. Coming up is a high, low cardio punch. Set those weights down. You could hold really light weights here if you wanted to. We're gonna go high, high, low, Low, okay? Yes, okay, ready? And up, up, down, down, good. Then we're going back to the start as soon as you're done here with that squat thrust rotation or squat twist. What did I call it? Squat twist. Up, up. Low, low, 20 seconds. Four, 
five, four, three, two, time. Woo! Okay, either with your dumbbell or your ball. Catch your breath, bring it down. Squat, twist. Go, low, up. Make this heavier if you want, okay? Way. Get low in that squat. Drop it. Come on. Good. Downward dog crunches next. Nice. Okay. Keep your ball handy if you're doing that. Uh, your push-ups from there. All right, drive that knee in, pop it up, I'll call halfway, here we go. In, pop, low, that's it. Such a good quad burn on this one. All right, switch legs, and up. Good hamstring stretch too, isn't it? One more here. Push-ups are next. From your knees or toes, use a dumbbell or a ball. Ready? I'll call half. Work. One more here. Good, switch sides. We got 10 there. just said it, but it just got overused, didn't it? Suddenly, like I, I talked to this server the other day, who's serving us, she said I know right to everything I said. I would like the cock salad, I know right? No, she didn't say that. <laughs> she may as well have. It was weird. So I gotta be careful how frequently you use those phrases. Five seconds. Good, going into that squat bicep curl. I'm gonna go 15s this time. A little heavier. I can do it. Okay, wide. Plie shoulders back. Go, low. Curl, palms up. The heavier the weight, the more you're going to want to lean forward, but don't. Ten seconds. Mm. 
a lot difficult, more difficult with the 15s, that's for sure. Nice, okay, set it, and forget it. Okay, go into that high low punch. Good, ready, you can grab a little weights if you want to add that here, we could go up, up, down, down. Good job, you're halfway. Come on. Ten seconds. Push hard now. Boom. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Time. Quick sip. Moving on to round three. Squat rotation, squat thrust, squat twist, go. Whew. We need more time for your heart rate to come down. Pause the video. This should be a little easier depending on the weight you have. Halfway. these two so we'll have 60 45 and 30 and uh, depending on how busy you are you can pick and choose yeah I'm gonna do that 10 seconds uh, pukey 
Okay, squat bicep. You grab my 15s again. I drank too much fluid, liquid. Ready? Palms up. Let's go. Low. Curl. Really concentrate on not hinging at the waist. Just drop your butt. Oh, there's the sun. Of course. Ten seconds. You got 45 seconds of work and a little break, okay? All right, good. Yeah, sisters. High low punches. 45 seconds. Bring the heart rate down. Ready? Let's do it. Here. Low, low, up. Here, come on. Fast, fast. Push, punch. Well, that sun is coming out in all its glory, isn't it? Hopefully this isn't too yellow on the screen for you. Three, two. Ugh. Okay, water break. Bring that heart rate down slightly. Join me for circuit number two. All right, I'm grabbing my eight pound dumbbells. We're gonna hit a reverse lunge, alternating with the shoulder press. So you're gonna reverse lunge, stand press, and then alternate legs. Get ready, in four, three, two, here we go. Low, press at the top, alternate here. That's it, good. Really drop that back leg, stay as tall as you can in your upper body. We're gonna move down to the ground after this for a Superman switch. Okay, so get ready to put the weights down. Get into plank. That overhead press is really gonna elevate the heart rate here. You burn those shoulders out. Okay, good. Set those down. So your Superman switch is plank position. One leg starts up by the hand, one is back. You're switching on the fly. Okay, you can tap to modify. Ready? Let's go. Here, here. Oh, that's a hard shoulder one right after what we just did. Try to keep your bum down. Halfway. Woo, this is hard, eh? Three, two, time. Oh, goodness. Okay, moving into an overhead hold. I'm gonna grab my eight. Both dumbbells are overhead. You come wide, up, front, up, okay? Let's go, wide, front, switch sides, wide, front, watch your face. Front, control. Oh, shoulder burn. Hopefully the next one doesn't have any shoulders. Oh. I'm glad I picked eights here, this is heavy. Oh. 
Almost there, last one here. Up. Oh, goodness. I think I'll go fives next time on that guy. Okay, burpee jack. You can walk this out. Walk, walk, jack. Or walk, walk, step, step. Otherwise, burpee full jack. Here we go. So down, out, in, up, jump. Here's your modification. Walk, walk, tap, tap, walk, walk, stand. Crisscross squat is your last cardio here. Okay. Kind of like the cross body jacks. Crisscross squat instead of a jack. Otherwise, we're jumping that out. Ready? Cross feet and hands. Crisscross squat. Good. Uh, 
tired. I'm gonna do the overhead hold with fives. So feel free to stick with the eights or heavier. Ready? Both up. So you go wide and front. Here. Front, switch. Wide. Front. Good. I kind of like to walk around when I'm doing an overhead hold. I don't know, it makes it feel like it's going by faster. This is hard, isn't it? Make sure you're not arching your back. If you are, bring the weights down. Take a break. Wow, was a What's next? Your burpee. Holy. Okay. Shake that out. Burpee jack. That was work. I don't mind this one though. Ready? In three, two, let's go. Jack it out at the bottom. Jump at the top. tricep workout in between this one and the last 60 minute one. You need to build some muscles. You need to let the heart recover too from something like high intensity like this, right? Okay, one more round. Let's hit that round three. Grab your weights. Oh, okay, I'm at eight. I think I'm gonna grab my fives. It's a lot of shoulders in this circuit. I don't wanna burn them out too much. Ready, reverse lunge, press, start. Low and press. Good. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I had a cold for the last couple days. I'm not 100% yet. I actually debated doing this workout because, uh, you know, it's taxing, right? Um, but I don't know if you noticed. Hopefully, you haven't been looking at my clock. <laughs> but I took a few minutes longer break in between, really let my heart rate come down. Ideally, you don't do that, but you know, if you're not well, you don't want to over tax yourself because you need all the energy you can get to get better. 
Good, last one here. All right? All right, Superman switches. I'm just gonna go back to the floor because I feel like the ball was harder. But you can do it on an elevated surface too, right? Like a couch or bench. Get ready and let's go. Bum is down. Stretch those legs up behind you. Oh goodness. 15 seconds. This is hard. Okay, that's enough. It's enough of those for one day. Good. Overhead hold. Wide, narrow. Ready? Both are up. Here we go. Wide, turn, narrow, switch. Nice to control on this. Okay? Slower is harder. Actually, try not to rush through it. Good, wide and narrow. Five seconds. That's hard. Oh, goodness. Okay, good. Burpee Jack is next. <sighs> shoulders, right? It's good. Good for summer shoulders. Gotta work them now in February. Ready, let's go. And Jack at the bottom. And up. This is your last 45 seconds of burpees. Let's make them count. Good job, 10 seconds left, come on. Last one here. Oh. Wow, you know, likey. Okay, oh yeah, this one's my favorite. <laughs> this is the easiest of this circuit. Single leg deadlift, hammer curl. Ready? So, hinge and curl. Last one to the side. And switch. So. Last one here. Nice. And curl it up. Come on. Boom. Okay. Cross, criss, cross, squat. <sighs> then our last circuit is not gonna have six exercises because that'd be over 45 minutes. Ready? Here we go. Low. I'll do three. That should be around 45 minutes. Okay? I hope. Halfway. Usually the time I write on the front of the thumbnail indicates the exact workout time, not necessarily the stretch and warm up. So keep that in mind. Oh, jostly guts. 
<sighs> Too much BCAAs. <laughs> okay, oh, you. Good, take that break. Join me back for that last three exercise circuit. You are getting down on the ground. I'm gonna grab my 15s. We're gonna do a chest fly bicycle combo, okay? So, rounded arms, you're flying over the chest, alternating bicycle, just like that. Nice and slow, here we go. Open, squeeze. Again, I've got my 15s here. I'm gonna make it feel like work, but my goal is to press that small of my back into the ground. If you can't do that, just rest the feet on the ground instead, okay? Push. Yeah, feels good. Make sure if you're using these metal weights, don't clink it over your face. That is paint and it chips and it can fall into your eyeball. That's happened to me, no thank you. <sighs> Yee-hoo, 10 seconds. Nice, okay, that's good. Standing, you're gonna do the joker. That's no joke. That is no joke. Okay, you're here. Dee, 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 dee. If you sing that song while you're doing it, it's more fun. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Up. Okay, modify here. Here. So legs are out to the side. <laughs> Knee to elbow. This makes me have to go to the bathroom. That wasn't smart. <laughs> you needed to know that, didn't you? Oh, goodness. Well, if you've had three babies, <laughs> you might be the same. Halfway. You're doing an alternating front lunge. Knee to elbow coming up. 10 seconds here. Three, two, uh. Okay. You're gonna front lunge. Opposite knee comes to the elbow, alternating. Feel free to hold weights if you want, okay? Ready? Let's do it. Knee to elbow, alternating. Bring it down. Crunching those obliques here. Good job. Push through the heel to stand back up and up. Halfway. You're going back down for that fly. Okay, one more round. That's like three minutes of work. Anyone can do anything for three minutes. We got this. Ready? In three, two, work. I gotta go to my happy place here. This is very hard right now for me. It's almost over though. 
You just gotta tell yourself that. And the end product will be worth it. Go, go. 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Ugh. That's brutal. One more exercise. Did you hate that exercise? Let me know in the comments below. Favorite and least favorite. Okay, front lunge. Let's do it. Bring it home here, everyone. Bend that back knee. I touch the ground on this. If you've got that flexibility, do so. You've got a soft ground or mat. Keep pushing. You're so close to done, you have 15 seconds. Don't stop. Do this for yourself. Come on, work, work. This is your time for you to build and grow strong and to move daily. You did it. Yes. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to be subscribed. Join me for a stretch if you can. If not, see you in the next video. I'm gonna do a quick stretch here because I think this the numbers are gonna be slightly over. And I said 45 seconds, 45 minutes, not 50. So let's just stretch it out here a little bit. Mostly legs. Pull that foot up to lengthen through that calf there. Oh Nelly, that was good, eh? Oh yeah. I liked it. I mean again, kind of feeling under the weather a bit, but taking breaks in between is helpful. I mean, that probably took me an hour to do when it's only 45 minutes for you guys, but let's go butterfly here. That's an option, right? Mostly if I don't feel good. Like if I had a chest cold, I wouldn't do any cardio. This is more just like my head, sinus a little bit. Because chest cold, that's not good. I mean, you're, you need your lungs to breathe, and if you're taxing them, bring your arm across. Uh, that's, just, that's not going to get you healthier. So my typical like workout regime when I'm ill is if I feel totally bad I skip the gym or my my home I mean you don't want to get other people sick either that's not the goal so if you're doing it in your home which most of you are I'm sure um, I would just do resistance training so any of my strength videos I'll uh, link a card right up there the strength videos okay I just did that chest and tricep the other day because I was feeling like this it was great. My muscles were totally fatigued, but my heart rate wasn't skyrocketing. So, and I would mostly do upper body, hands behind the back, stretch the chest, tilt the neck. Um, but like I said, if I had a flu or chest cold, nothing. If I had a head cold, resistance training, primarily upper body, abs, uh, maybe a little bit of cardio, but yeah, that's, that's what I would do. So let me know what you do when you're not feeling up to par. Let's stretch those legs out. Uh, it's great to take a break too, you know. You don't have to always go balls to the wall. You can, you can rest your body, that's really important. I get really good sleeps. I'm lucky that way. I, I sleep eight hours pretty much every night. Um, and so when I'm not feeling the best, I go to bed like even half hour early, eight and a half, nine hours. Lazy bones, eh? <laughs> I don't know, I've been lucky to, to really get my sleep. And my husband, not so much. And of course, the dumb, dumb dog often wakes me up. Right, Max? He knows it. He's on my bed right now, snoozing. All right, great job, everyone. You can continue to stretch if you need to. Foam rolling would be a great idea here. Roll out those ha uh, hamstrings and calves for sure. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, and uh, don't forget, if you want to join our six-week accountability program, it is launched right now for our second round. It starts March 4th. I would love to see you there. It's such a great opportunity for you to really dig deep into your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Learn a lot. Change your body. Change your life. Go ahead and click the screen right here and find out more about that. All right. See you guys in the next video.